Hey, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to be making a uh, drop in 10 minutes because I thought that'd be fun. I haven't done one of those in a while and I'm running out of ideas so I figured I'd try that. Uh, down here in the corner you should see a timer going. Now it's at 11 minutes counting down from now. Once it hits 10 we'll get started. Okay, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do, uh, I have no plan right now so I'm going to just pick a tempo and pick out some stuff, see what happens. Okay, so I know, I think I want to do some hybrid trap, I guess. I don't know. I haven't done bass music in a while, but I got to pick stuff quick and get going. I don't have much time. Okay, do some of that. Do that. Oop, I don't want you there. So, uh... The last time I did one of these, it was decent, but uh, it's been a really long time, so hopefully I'll be able to do it a little bit better. Okay, nice. I like that. Um, oh man, we're on pattern 9. I have my OBS set up. So when I hit the uh, nine button on my on my number pad, it it uh, starts recording, but it also moves FL Studio over to pattern nine by default. So that's a problem. Okay, there we go. That's all done. Now I want an 808. Let's route these to their mixer channels. I'm gonna make an 808 because I feel like it. See how it sounds. Okay. Okay, this goes too slow. More distortion. Nice, sounds good, okay. Um, I'm gonna try and make a bass or some sort of drop sound. I don't know how this is gonna go, honestly. It might uh, not work out, but... Do not like that at all. Let's actually... Let's just grab some random sample. Okay, I'm gonna remove up to there. And then I'm going to remove from there to the end, normalize each, uh, and then I'll spectral morph it. Okay, there's way too much waveform here. Getting to selected, there we go. Something like this. Okay, we'll FM this as well. Wrong way. Okay. 
okay. Let's pick a better waveform. Sounds nice, something like that. Do something like this. Actually, we'll go in here. I'm going to add a delay real quick. Oh man, I'm running out of time quick. Okay, we'll add, we'll compress it real quick. Add some reverb. Okay. Awesome. We'll add, do some sort of pattern with this. Okay. Um. Nice, nice. I like that. I love that. Oh no. Oh no, I'm doing it wrong. There we go. Let's add some flair to these hi hats. And then do something like this. Awesome. Okay, um, what else should we do? We should add uh, a lot of reverb and then automate that. Awesome. And we can bring that in. Awesome. Okay, um, and now we should add some background as well. But I really don't know what to add. Um, I want to add some some sort of uh, fill, sort of loop thing in the background, but I don't really know what to do, and I only have like a minute left. Um, let's look around. Oh god, I really don't want to use cymatics, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do sometimes. Uh, drum loops. What are we at? 150? Okay, I like that one. Okay, let's pump these drums to the max as quickly as possible. And then side chain, will we have enough time? Insert two. Okay, save that. Do one for the snare.
Okay, that's pretty much it, huh? Well, uh, that doesn't sound too bad, honestly. So I guess this is uh, this is what we got. I mean, that could pass, honestly. That could pass for a, a really um, generic uh, release on some uh, terrible, terrible label that just has a whole bunch of artists doing the same thing over and over again. So uh, in, my, in my book, that's a win. Um, <laughs> well, uh, this turned out better than I thought it would, honestly, seeing as I haven't uh, done bass music in a really long time. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed that and you want to hear a album that sounds absolutely nothing like what you just heard, then um, check it out in the description. It's called Completely Implicit. It's a 12-track uh, album uh, that's about 45 minutes long that I spent a lot of time on. It's a lot more chill than this. Um, there's, there is a, a sort of chill dubstep thing in there. I don't know what you would call it. Um, but if you uh, want to support me, then that's the best way to do so. And leaving a like and subscribing is always appreciated. Uh, so thanks for watching and have a nice day.